Hi there, Ollie. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi. Um, you've got obviously guaranteed second spot. How would you sum up your season in the Premier League and, and what do you think you have to do to get closer the next time? Of course, it's we're not where we uh, aim to be. We got ambitions to uh, to move uh, one place further up, of course. But it's been steady improvement. Uh, we've improved steadily, surely. Uh, third last season, second this season, so, some more points. Done really well away from home, of course. We we know we had a difficult start to the season with the the lack of pre-season and the. We've lost. We lost three out of the first six games, uh, and uh, loads of the loads of them were home games, which put pressure on the team. But they've managed really well. The players have been um, very, very good. And obviously, me without a win isn't. I'm sure the build-up that you would have wanted to the, the Europa League final. But what do you hope to see from your players against Wolves on Sunday? And how are you thinking about the team? Is it keeping everyone fresh and fit, or what's your what's your thinking? Well, of course, you want to go into the final with loads of energy, uh, but also confidence. Uh, so we'll make a few changes, uh, freshen up a few, rest a few. That's been really, uh, really uh, playing and been regular in the teams. So um, we want to go, as I said, uh, go into the last game. We know that we've done really well away from home and go and enjoy it. Get some minutes into a few that might need it before the final. Simon Peach. Hi, um, there was pictures of Harry Maguire at that film premiere last night without crutches, so people got very excited. What, what is the latest with him? Do you think he will be fit to play in Gdansk? Uh, he's walking, but this, it's a long way from walking to running. So, to be honest, uh, I don't think we'll see him in Gdansk, no. But I'm going to, as I've said so many times, I'm going to give him until... Tuesday night at the last training session and see if we can uh, if he can try to be out there. But uh, uh, steadily but surely he's improving. But um, ligaments they take time to heal. Hi Oli, um, have you decided what's happening with Juan Mata yet? Obviously this could it could potentially be his last game. Well, we're in. Uh, we're talking to Juan. Uh, we've had good, uh, good dialogue, good discussion, um, and uh, that dialogue will continue. Uh, let's see what he uh, wants to do at the end of the season. Of course, he's such a top professional, very, very good player. It's it's hard for me not to to play him more than I have done. Of course, there's been circumstances this season. Uh, to, uh, personal issues that's um, made him less available, but still, uh, he's still a top player. So uh, that decision will be made uh, after the season finished. David McDonald. Hi, Ollie. Um, uh, assuming Harry doesn't make it, I guess he'll still travel out to Gdansk with you. If, if he does that, what kind of role can he play? I mean, you talked very well about his leadership qualities. What kind of role can he play off the field um, with the players if he doesn't make it on the field? He is a very uh, important person in the dressing room and a leader. And uh, I think you've now, before the fans came in, I think you all heard him uh, from the stands. He does still uh, want the team to do well, of course. He is organising even from, from the stands, which is, has been e easy because uh, he's been so quiet. Uh, yeah, so he'll come, he'll be in the dressing room, he'll, uh, he'll make sure everyone's ready for the final. Fraser Dainton. Uh, just going back to uh, what you were saying a little earlier, Oli, about your ambitions for next year, how much are you planning at this stage uh, what your transfer strategy will be over the summer? And do you expect Manchester United to have a, a big summer in terms of players in and out? Of course, we're planning uh, as we uh, we normally do. We've, uh, we have had, uh, it's not like uh, end of the season and let's see what we do. We've, that's an ongoing process. Uh, we're looking at the squad. Uh, players who are going to stay, players who might be leaving. And as I've said a couple of times lately, I, I hope that we're going to strengthen with uh, with a few, uh, two or three players. We, we definitely uh, need to um, to challenge the um, higher up in the table. We've, we're still too far behind to think that, uh, that it's just going to come by itself. Samuel Lucas. Oh, Ole, just um, following up on that as well, do you know what the player turnover is likely to be 
like this summer? I mean, in terms of, I know you said Sergio is going to leave the club at the end of the season, but roughly how many more players could go in the summer? Uh, there might be, obviously, we've had a few players on loan that might come back in. Uh, there might be some interest in them. There might be some interest in, uh, or there is interest in, in a few others maybe going out. Uh, but you, uh, you want to come out of the transfer window strengthened. That's the thing. Uh, and it might be that we, we allow some players to go out to gain experience and come back stronger for it later on. Um, apart from that, it's, it's difficult to say. Uh, I can't see too many outgoings. Laurie Whitwell. Hi, Lee. Um, we talk about uh, players improving, the team improving. I just wondered, in terms of your season, do you think you've improved as a manager this year? <laughs> I'm probably not up to me to uh, to say, but uh, you learn all the time. Of course, we've uh, we've had uh, ups and downs, and you you learn from your uh, wins, you learn from your mistakes and defeats. Um, the older you get, the more experience you've got. Uh, you're probably a, a better leader for it. So, for me, I'm uh, taken in this in my stride, but. Uh, I'm used to everyone else judging how how I do and how badly I do uh, or or well you do. So it's not up to me to uh, to rate myself. No. Ian Whittle. Hi, Ollie. Um, obviously, Tuesday we had fans back and and the whole thing went off very smoothly and it was you know good to see them back and everything. Uh, I know the owners arranged a sort of chat with the fans forum in the start of June. Presumably, I'm, I'm assuming you'd hope that both sides can can reach an understanding or whatever the right word is. Presumably, you don't want the sort of problems you saw a couple of weeks ago hanging over you potentially next season. Oh, well, to be uh, reunited with the fans again was great. And I thought they, uh, they supported the team really well. And of course, the meeting between the fans and the owners will will of course be a, a step in the, in the right direction. Uh, and for me, uh, we want to start next season uh, on a high. We want to start well. We want to start with a good good atmosphere in and around the club. And uh, of course, the, the one day that really uh, was a disappointing day was the, the first time with the Liverpool game. The, the other times they've, they've uh, They've got the right to to uh, express their view, and they've d done it in the right ways. After that, Rob Dawson. Hi, Ollie. Can I um, just check on the fitness of Scott, Fred, and Anthony ahead of the weekend on on the final? And also, um, do you buy into the, the the theory that you have to go into a major final with some momentum? Um, I mean, is it important that you win on Sunday to go into that final with a win, or, or does it not really matter? <laughs> Every game matters. Every game you play matters, and uh, for the the players who who are on the pitch, it's an important uh, preparation for the final. Uh, get confidence, get momentum, as you say. But of course, a final lives its own life. So, um, and uh, I don't think. No, I, I know Anthony is not going to be uh, available. Um, Scott and Fred should be okay.